If you've ever tried digging a hole by hand, you probably got tired doing it. That's because it took energy to make the hole. In this drilling minute, we'll look at how energy is used to drill an oil and gas well. In some ways, drilling a well is just like using a handheld drill. In order to make a hole, you have to push the bit into whatever you're drilling. In oil and gas drilling, we call this weight on bit, commonly abbreviated as WOB. Just like pushing on the drill, weight on bit applies force to drive the bit ahead into the formation. But where does that weight come from? If you added up the weight of all the components of the drill string, you would have what we call the string weight, which is usually hundreds of thousands of pounds. But not all of this is used to drill. Most of it is suspended from the derrick, which is known as the hook load. In fact, the structure of the derrick is actually designed to support this heavy load. The total string weight minus the hook load is the weight on bit. Just pushing on a drill doesn't make a hole. You have to pull the trigger to turn the bit. The force that causes the bit and drill string to turn is called torque. Torque is provided by the rig on surface by the top driver Kelly, depending on the type of rig. Surface torque is used to turn the entire drill string. In many wells, a downhole motor is also used, which converts the energy in the fluid flow into torque to turn the bit. Whether at the surface or at the bit, torque is what generates RPMs. Last but not least, hydraulic energy is what forces fluid to circulate through the drilling system. Drilling hydraulics are used to evacuate the drilled formation and to clean, cool, and lubricate the drilling components and the well. The rig pumps supply hydraulic energy by putting the drilling fluid under pressure to circulate. These energy sources are often referred to as parameters because they can be controlled to improve drilling performance, which is the topic of the next drilling minute. This drilling minute was brought to you by Ulterra, an ESCO oil and gas company. Please send feedback to info at and thanks for watching.